Okay, I, um, I represent today uh, the group of Merch Italia. Merch Italia is uh, part of Italian National Railways, which uh, for many of you on this uh, webinar and part of the people in the, in the participant is, of course, quite known, is, the, is uh, widely known for the passenger traffic, but uh, we also have quite a significant activity in, uh, in freight and logistics. In 2017, we decided to create a poll uh, dedicated to logistics. We can do a step back uh, just to give you an, uh, an overview about the company. The Italian National Railways uh, recently they decided to organize uh, the activity into four pillars. Uh, which I, I stress this point of the four pillars because one of the four pillars is the logistics one. Uh, the other one is the infrastructure, so uh, all the companies dealing with the uh, rail infrastructure, rail uh, organization, road organization and maintenance. A second pillar, which is probably the biggest in terms of turnover, is dealing with the passenger traffic, uh, the very known uh, fast train uh, solution in Italy and also in other countries in Europe. Then we have a pillar which is Polo Urbano is dealing for all the activity related to cities. And uh, the last one is what I represent today is uh, the Polo Logistica called Merch Italia. This poll is fully dedicated to all activities uh, in a certain way linked to the to rail and uh, all the logistic activities connected to rail. We can see more into details. The poll has uh, a turnover of uh, almost over 1 billion euros, and uh, it uh, implies uh, over 5,000 people. And uh, you can see the company part of this, uh, of this uh, group. We have undertaking company like Merce Italia Rail, which is uh, the biggest uh, undertaking company in, in Italy. Uh, they pull trains for us, uh, for the group, and also for other suppliers and customers. Uh, and they also perform the transportation of uh, loose goods like coal, uh, sands, and, uh, and steels. Uh, then we have uh, uh, Tix Logistics, which is 100% uh, part of the group, but is a German company, and they are a bit in between. They have uh, locomotive, so they are a kind of uh, undertaking company. But they also offer intermodal solution like uh, we do. And uh, when I say we, is because I'm part of Merch Italian Intermodal. Merch Italian Intermodal is a purely uh, intermodal provider. That means that we have our own public trains or dedicated trains uh, where uh, our clients are uh, allowed uh, to ship their one, two pieces, whatever they need uh, on our network, connecting mainly Italy to the rest of Europe, and also quite an important connection uh, within Italy. Uh, then we have Merch Italia Shunting and Terminal, which is a company normally dealing with the first and last mile, connecting the uh, uh, national line with uh, uh, the terminal with the secondary lines. And the last one, which is quite important because as, as a country, as Italy, we have a bit of a lack of uh, very big uh, terminal compared to the rest of Europe. And uh, we are building three new terminals in the north of Italy, uh, one in Milano, one in Piacenza, and one in Brescia, which will be ready between one and three years or so. Uh, concerning the Today, today uh, event, the participation is uh, uh, is very much linked to what is our strategic. We we are really uh, strategic uh, mission is really uh, linked to what we would like to do. Uh, how we want to increase our business and uh, especially the synergy that we can create or build over the market. Uh, we are already present in uh, several countries in Europe. So, of course, our quarters are in Italy, but we have a uh, presence and offices, I would say, in all Western Eastern Europe. And what is more important, we already have connection from among all these countries. Uh, back to what we could do at, uh, with Taranto, uh, I would like to, uh, to mention what we are already doing together. Uh, one of our companies, Merch Italia Shunting and Terminal, which I just mentioned, 
has already in place an activity with the Port of Taranto uh, for the some maintenance of uh, some equipment or uh, not only uh, locomotives and uh, for personal training. is uh, is a limited in a kind of solution we can offer, but it's quite important. It's a, probably a first step of collaboration. And uh, we studied uh, also some solution for a dedicated uh, train connecting Taranto and Milano. Is a project that uh, has some time now, uh, not yet uh, operative, not yet developed, but still uh, a possible solution that, uh, as uh, our colleagues today mentioned, uh, Taranto is really a door from uh, all the Mediterranean area, including what is coming from Asia, from uh, Suez, and uh, using Italy as a bridge to connect uh, uh, Italy, of course, and then the rest of Europe. So actually, this slide, I, I, I'd like to, uh, to link this slide, uh, probably to one of the slides that uh, Sergio presented at the very beginning, where he showed Taranto and all the links uh, going south, that means uh, to the Mediterranean area. Uh, I think my slide can be linked to what we could do uh, together with uh, the, the flow arriving to Taranto and our existing, existing network, for example. Of course, we can have a direct uh, solution, rail solution. We offer a solution from Taranto, but we don't have to forget uh, all the existing trains we already have. All the Northern Italy uh, terminal are connected, as you can see in the table here on the, life, on the left, uh, to Central and South of Italy. And uh, uh, what is uh, uh, very important is that uh, all these uh, terminals <coughs> are linked to the rest of Europe. So really, Italy can be, as I said, the door, can connect with all the flow entering eventually to Taranto and uh, either go straight or uh, use our network and then uh, uh, reach the rest of Europe. I just make an example. I used to be based in the Netherlands and uh, you can easily uh, make over 2000 kilometers all by rail. For example, from Rotterdam or from Belgium, uh, Antwerp area, you go to Verona and then you can re reach the south of Italy which especially in this period where uh, green solutions are very much uh, demanded, is really, is really a good, a good opportunity. Uh, so I think we have all the omen and goods to, to think that in the future uh, a collaboration can, can, can arise. And uh, what is, uh, I hope, can be in the short and the short period, uh, consider what we already do and what uh, can be done uh, can be done further. This is more or less the information I wanted to share. So it's about uh, what we do and what we could do. And uh, I stress again the importance of uh, Taranto, south of Italy, as a door for uh, the flow. Uh, there are several studies about uh, the difference for, for, for example, a container coming from China to go via Suez, the Gibraltar, and then go on the northern port uh, of Europe, like uh, the very famous Hamburg or uh, uh, Antwerp or Rotterdam. Uh, but I think we as, uh, uh, we as an Italian company, Taranto as an Italian company of where, and also the participant, we already understood the importance because uh, it's a shorter way and uh, can uh, offer a solution which is uh, which are uh, uh, already available and uh, with great capacity for the customer. And then we can really make a step in a, in a better and greener way to transport goods from everywhere, Taranto, Italy, and the rest of Europe. That is more or less what I wanted to share in terms of information about what we do and what we, what we could do.